Let's take a look at some grouped frequency tables. So we're told that the table below shows the number of goals scored by the players of a local football team. So first thing we notice is that the number of goals scored are put into ranges, so zero to five. And so frequency of two, so what that means is two people scored between zero and five goals. Now we don't know how many goals these two people scored, it was somewhere between zero and five. It could have been zero, it could have been five. We will never know. Six people scored between six and 10 goals. Nine people scored between 11 and 15 goals. So we've worked out that these values here correspond to the number of people. So if we add these values up in the frequency, we can work out how many people were in the football team. So two plus six plus nine plus five plus one comes to 23. So the squad of players is 23. So a key thing to do with group frequency tables usually is to add up the frequency column. That way you've got your total number of values. Notice also that um, it's impossible for a player to be in more than one category. Uh, they do not overlap at all. So here we are doing dealing with grouped data. Now with a group frequency table, we can estimate the mean. So this table shows the number of bits of homework missed by a class. So three people missed between one and five bits of homework, eight people missed between six and 10, etc., etc. So actually by adding up the frequency, we can work out how many people were in this class. Now three plus eight plus 12 plus two plus five is 30. So there were 30 students. So the mean number of bits of homework missed is going to be the total items of homework missed divided by the number of students, which is 30. So what we need to do now is work out how many, or what is an estimate for the total number of pieces of homework missed. Now we know that three people missed between one and five bits of homework. Now these three people, we don't know if they missed one, two, three, four, or five bits of homework. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna assume that they all missed the halfway point of one to five. Halfway between one to five is three. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna create a new column here called the midpoint. So what's the midpoint of one and five? Three. Six and 10, eight. 11 and 15, 13. 16 and 20, 18. 21 and 25 is 23. So these three students, they missed between one and five, but we're assuming that they all hit the, exactly the midpoint, which was three bits of homework. So if three students missed three bits of homework each, then the total for these three students will be nine bits of homework. So what we're doing is we're multiplying the frequencies by the midpoint. So eight, eight, 64. So this means that eight people missed the um, eight bits of homework. We're assuming it's eight because we don't, it's just a guess, it's halfway between six and 10. 12 people missed 13 bits of homework, we think. So 156, two 18s, 36, and 23 times five is 115. So if to get the grand total number of bits of homework missed, it's gonna be all these numbers added together. So 115 plus the 36 plus 156 plus 64 plus nine, that comes to a total of 380. So in total, 380 bits of homework were missed by 30 students. So if we divide 38 by uh, 30, 380 by 30, we get our estimated mean, and that comes to 12.6 recurring. So to the nearest whole number, that is 13 bits of homework missed.